Hi, I'm Nate Dinsdale. Welcome to What's in the Box. Today we're going to look at a Varus PX3 UX N05. It's a tri differential pressure transducer. Let's take a look. We have here the PX3 UX N05, and we're going to open it up and see what's inside. The thing we're going to pull out is the full installation document. It's got all the installation information you need for wiring, configuration, mounting, all that. The next piece that we're going to open up is the NIST certificate. And so what this has is this has uh, reference reading, the actual device reading in the air. Very important if you want to offset this and add offsets to the controller to get a little bit more accuracy. Next thing we have is the duct probe and the grommet. And I'll show you what that's for. Have the actual PX3 device, we'll talk about that more. And then you have the actual mounting screws required, so you won't have to purchase any mounting screws. So if we look at the unit itself, <clears throat> it's got the Bluetooth emblem on the face. And why that's there is this is actually able to be paired with Ferris's companion phone Bluetooth app that's available on iOS uh, and Android. And why that's important is this particular model is a non-display model and you can use that app to be a remote display or you can use it to change some of the configurations we're going to talk about. So inside the, the cover you can see all of the wiring information to wire the device. You see the, the dip switch configuration information which allows you to set for velocity, different output types, turn the Bluetooth on or off. Then below you have all your range uh, adjustment which corresponds to this radial switch here. So it's a 0 to 1 inch up to a 0 to 10 inch with many sub ranges and if you have it in velocity mode it's 0 to 500 up to 0 to 7000 with different sub ranges. Now if we look at the actual unit itself these are going to be your actual wiring terminals with your outputs. This is a remote zero so you can zero it with a remote switch or connect it to a controller have it zero. You have a local zero button as well. This entire unit is IP65 and NEMA4 rated. What this uh, duct probe is for is you can actually mount the duct probe on the back of the device so that you have one uh, unit that will actually go into the duct and then you can have the outdoor or the external reference. Uh, for panel mode, you would just use these two grommets or these two barbs here. Uh, if you're going to have it with uh, duct probe and you want to only use one of these, you're going to use this additional cover to cover the unused port and that allows you to maintain your, your IP rating because what happens is you actually change some of the tubing around on the inside and you reconfigure. So there's the PX3 portion. We also talked about that you have uh, the velocity mode. So for instances, when you want to have a velocity configuration, you'd also use the VFXP series uh, pitot tubes. And what these are is there's five different tube variants available and they're based on different lengths. So this is the longest one that we offer, which is the 14 inch probe. And what this is, is you mount this from the outside of the duct into the duct, and then you can connect this into the other side of the duct. The shorter probes don't have the second screw terminal, so you only have to mount it inside uh, from one position. But essentially what you do is you connect hoses here to the panel portion and you have it configured for velocity panel and then you have to put this PX3 divisor offset into the control to uh, give you the velocity reading that you've selected. So just like that, you've opened the box. There we go. 